Right, I'm Butch Whitten, First United Methodist Church here in Duncan, Oklahoma. I'm the building committee chairman. Seven years ago, the church felt the need to rehabilitate and refurbish. One reason we were able to move forward like that is because of the construction manager, Daniels and Daniels. Charlie Daniels he came down several times, met him. A, a real dedicated organization, you can tell that by working with the people under him, but just good, honest, upright, ethical people. And that's been my observation and experience really for about three years. Daryl DeVore um, and Doug Jones, those guys did an outstanding job. We would have, if Daryl hadn't have taken the initiative to stayed as the construction manager of the project, we would have had serious budget issues. But they made decisions based, in my view, based on what was best for First United Methodist Church of Duncan. Darrell gave us more grief about going over budget than, than we, you know, he had to put the reins on us, not us on uh, him and wanting to do extra things. He kept us in check on that. after doing about $300,000 worth of extras on about a $3.2 million project, we, we were over budget a little bit, and that was an outstanding, that was a fabulous thing to be about 1% over budget, considering all the extras that we had, that we threw at Daryl at different times, so there was flexibility and the church had a capital campaign, very, very successful capital campaign. I thought that was the hard part, raising the money. But the hard part is spending it. And when you're spending it, you better have the right people overviewing that. And that was Daniels and Daniels. Daniels and Daniels tells us when to write the checks. We have the money. We have the checkbooks. They don't ever touch the money. And it just makes for a, you know, just a very relaxed, uh, secure, confident feeling that you retain such control that you've got uh, the professionals in the background to tell you when to write the checks. Part of the facilities are 40 years old or better. Part of them are about 35 years old. But we'd really skipped a couple of generations on putting anything back into the facilities. We took a lot of interior office space, reconfigured it, have a nice conference room. The whole project was done how can we work on the facilities to enhance our ministries? The music ministry is a huge, huge thing here in our church. We have a music suite now. We have a place for the bells, a place for the chimes, a place for the choir to practice, to keep all the robes and all their gear and everything in the same spot. And we have an enlarged parlor. And uh, the office uh, suites are more useful and functional now. In the original plans for the church 40 years ago, there was a chapel designed to sit on the south side of the existing building. The congregation wanted a nice chapel, so we had this little tiny thing of a chapel that was too small to use. We increased the space, you know, increased the ceiling height. That, you know, we just have what we think is a, a glorious little place right here. It's functional and it's outstanding. And So this room gives the whole church a great sense of pride. Per square foot, there's a lot of resources in here. We had issues with beams that weren't supposed to be here, and, but we were able to do everything that we wanted to for the most part. And I, there would have been a lot of people, I think, that if we were doing business with them, we would not have got where we wanted. But, but the professionalism of the Daniels and Daniels group, you can look at this room and if you know a little bit of the history of it, it's just complete evidence of that. Down the new building, the multi-purpose room, 10, 11,000 square feet. It's a big deal in our congregation to be able to all sit down and gather and eat and break bread and fellowship. Uh, we have a, we've always had a nice kitchen. We maintain a hostess and staff that works in the kitchen. So eating is a huge part. We spend a lot of time and resources in the kitchen. Uh, next to the multi-purpose room where we added on and we put a lot of resources into the audio visual lighting. You need people that know what they're doing. Organizations come down to the people, the relationships that they build, the relationships that are important to them. And Daniels and Daniels built a relationship with us in the church.